Hey friends, I'm Priyans. And do you ever wonder why the speed of light is same for every observer? Here's in this video, we will make an assumption that will tell us why it is necessary for light to travel at the speed of light. Let's start. Before the assumption, I want to clarify some things about light. First thing is that, that the particle of light, the photon, is massless. The second thing is that the speed of light in vacuum is about 299792458 meter per second. And, and the third thing is that the speed of light is same for every observer, despite of their motion and position in space time. That's not true for our day to day objects because motion is relative. Light is motion is relative. Light is an exception in this case because we perceive light always traveling at the speed of light. Remember that the particle of light, the photon, is massless. Now assume for a moment that the speed of light is not the speed of light, let's say it is 10% of the speed of light. In our reception, the speed of light is not a universal speed limit and the speed of light is not same for every observer. It can be changed with different reference frames. Now assume you are traveling at the speed of light, which is 10% of the speed of light, along with a light beam. What would you expect to see? Pause the video and try to think what would you see in these conditions. You will see a standing wave not going ahead but moving back and forth without going ahead. Now assume you are traveling again at the speed of light which is 10% of the speed of light but this time you are also moving back and forth also. As the wave in the previous assumption was moving, we are also moving that way. Now, what do you think you would see? Again, pause the video and try to think about that. What I think you would see is that you would see nothing. As I said before, light do not have mass and if it was not moving, it do not exist. Now I think you must get understood why it is necessary for light to travel at the speed of light and why it is same for every observer. Because if it wouldn't same for every observer, any frame of reference from its frame of reference make the speed of light as not moving. And from its frame of reference, the light do not exist, which can put big question to the nature of reality itself. It is physically impossible for light to travel not at the speed of light. The particle of light photon do not have a mass. It do not occupy any space in space time. It is just has energy which is in the form of kinetic energy. And if it was not moving, it did not exist. From the very beginning of the life of a photon, it is traveling at the speed of light. And that's not the case of only the photon. Any particle which is massless would have to travel at the speed of light. Uh, for example, gluons, the force carrier of the strong force, is massless and hence travel at the speed of light. The hypothetical particle graviton, which may be the particle of the gravitational force, is massless and hence should travel at the speed of light. In this video, we have removed the effect of length contraction and time dilation by assuming that the speed of light is 10% of the speed of light and it is not same for every observer. So if you like the video, then please share it, subscribe the channel and thanks for watching.